Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Smashing English. Before we start this video, be sure to subscribe because we make new videos all the time and I don't want you to miss any. So with that said, let's get on with the video. Okay, as the title suggests, today we are talking about common mistakes you might be making if you are trying to do a British accent. Now, first of all, let me say there is no such thing as a British accent. What I mean when I say British accent is actually RP or Standard English. Today, when I say British accent, I mean received pronunciation, which is how I'm talking right now. It is the accent you hear on the news. It is the typical British accent that most people think everyone in the UK sounds like. But if you have seen any of my other videos on accents from the UK, you will know that there are lots of different British accents. But for today, we are talking about received pronunciation. Anyway, I have been an English teacher for quite a while now and I teach people every single day and I hear lots of people doing RP accents, I help people improve their RP accent and there are certain things that I hear all the time that are common mistakes that people are making when they're trying to do this accent. So I am going to give you some of those mistakes so that you don't make them. Here we go. Okay, so the first mistake I always hear is for some reason, I think because RP and British we talk like this and we say grass and path and bath. I think some um, English learners who are trying to do this accent, I think they think that all A sounds is like an R. So I will hear people say something like, um, uh, I looked at my cart and I, um, I opened up my bag and I looked inside and I saw a Bart, you know, like that's extreme. I don't hear people doing it that extreme, but I definitely hear this sort of leaning towards doing an R sound for everything. That's not right. So if we've got these words like cat, bag, and bat, it's still ah, it's wide. You know, it feels like oh, I shouldn't be doing an ah sound if I'm talking in an RP accent, but these sounds exist. So don't be afraid to say cat, ah. You know, I call it like an apple ah, because it's like you're taking a bite from an apple. You're going ah, like that. You're about to take that bite from the apple, not an apple, not an apple, apple. Okay, so make sure you've still got that ah, wide ah. So we would say, I saw a cat on the path. So the R does exist in RP, of course it does, but make sure you are able to tell the difference between when I say ah and when I say ah, okay? It's not always ah. Okay, the next mistake I hear all the time is dropping too many consonants. As we know, lots of people in Britain like to drop their T's. They like to say butter better. Our fault, the butter, was better. A lot of people like to talk like that. And I think what's happened is a lot of people trying to do the British accent have heard that, have heard people saying, I thought the butter was better. Um, what, what time is it? You know, all of that. So I think what's happened is some English learners have heard British people speaking and they've heard them saying British butter and they've taken that rule and extended it too far. So for example, I hear people saying things like this, what time is it? What time is it? You know, like, so they're dropping the m on the end of time. We don't, we don't do that, we don't do that. We need to say the ends of words, we need to. There are some rules about when we drop a consonant and when we don't drop a consonant. In general, it's only the T's that we need to drop. So in general, you can drop a T and make it a glottal T when it is before a consonant. So let's say fat cat. No one in Britain says fat cat. That sounds ridiculous. We go fat cat, a fat cat, fat cat. Can you hear I'm stopping the air rather than saying fat? I'm going fat. Fat cat, that's fine, it's before a consonant. Or what time is it? What time is it? Because you've got a T and then a consonant, and in this case, it happens to be another T. So we don't say what time is it, we go what time is it, okay? 
that is it. If you start dropping all of your T's, like if you start dropping T's before vowels, like butter, better, you start to sound like you're from London. Like you should be talking like Adele, right? So if you want this accent, fair enough. Say butter, better, British. But if you want to sound RP, if you want an RP accent, you can't drop the T's if they're before vowels. It just doesn't work with the RP accent. Okay, moving on to the next mistake I hear a lot is people learning an RP accent tend to be afraid of linking sounds. So I'll tell you what I mean by that. I feel like because RP has a reputation for being a very clean, a very um, precise accent, I think people try to separate their words quite a bit. So I talk in a RP accent. I don't want to link any of my words because I am doing a very precise and you know, but actually in all accents, we link things. So the linking sounds, don't be afraid to make them. Okay. So what I will hear a lot of the time is very mushy linking. So it'll be something like I use butter. Okay. So people are aware that it's hard to say I use butter, but it's almost like people don't want to commit to the linking sound. So they sort of go, I use butter like that, you know, but just commit to it. It's a Y I use butter. Imagine there is actually a Y in front of the word use. I use butter. It's one word. It sounds like one word. I use, I use, I use. So don't be afraid of those strong linking sounds. Okay, moving on. A lot of my English learners, when they're trying to do an RP accent, a bit like the ah sound with bat, bag, cat, they don't go wide enough for the ow sound. So if we say how now brown cow, a lot of people say how now brown cow, because they're trying to think, okay, how would an RP accent say it? How now brown cow? And there may be very posh people in the world that say, how now? But I've never met anyone in my entire life that says, how now? Other than maybe the queen. So <laughs> real modern RP, people are saying, how now, brown cow? You still have that ow, ow. There needs to be the wide ah to start it off with, okay? Ow. Ow, it's a diphthong, it's not how, how. How now, brown cow. Another mistake I hear is people turning a TH into an F or a D. So the TH is everyone's least favorite sound when it comes to developing a British RP accent. I hear a lot of D, so I went to the park. I went to the park. I hear a lot of F, so I fought. I thought it was good. I thought it was great. We can't do it. You know, when we're turning the TH into an F, that sounds very Cockney. That's what our fault. So if you're going for a Cockney accent, great. If you're not, you need to say thought. That's what I thought. And the same with um, the. You can't do the. You're going to have to say, I went to the park. I went to the, the park. Yet another mistake I hear a lot is the uh sound. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. So in words like nurse or work or first or hurt, that seems to be a really tricky sound for people to get because obviously in RP, we don't pronounce our R's. We don't say hurt, nurse, work. So it's very hard for people to manipulate that vowel sound because a lot of the time, these two words sound exactly the same. So when I'm teaching people, it's always these two words I have to focus on with people. So I walk, I work. Because if we were American, it'd be easy. I walk and I work. Er, that's so different, that's easy peasy. Whereas in a British accent, it's a lot harder to make the difference. So what you wanna do is you wanna sit back on the sound. Don't go, when you're saying this word, work, it's not forward, it's not work, it's not that, it's back here work. Uh, I can say it without moving my mouth. Look, work, work, work. I'm not moving anything. It shouldn't be work. It shouldn't be work. It should be work. Uh, 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 uh. What I want you to imagine 
is you are at a coffee shop and someone has said, do you want tea or coffee? And you go, uh, coffee, uh, tea, uh, I don't know, it's that sound. Uh, uh, work, nurse, first, that's it, okay? So you should be able to say, I walk to work and they should sound completely different. Say that sentence, do those two words sound the same? If they do, you've got a bit of work to do because it shouldn't be I walk to walk and it shouldn't be I work to work. It needs to be I walk to work, okay? Good stuff. And my final mistake I have for you is I hear a lot of people not using the schwa sound enough. Schwas are so common in RP. We use them all the time. You need to get familiar with what a schwa is, how to make it. All a schwa is, is a completely neutral vowel. So listen to me. Uh, uh, uh. I'm not moving anything. My tongue is flat. My tongue is relaxed. I'm just making a sound. Uh, 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 like a caveman, uh, 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 right? So that comes up all the time, especially when we say something like of, a lot of the time of is a schwa, a piece of cake, a cake, a piece of cake, not a piece of cake. Also a piece rather than a piece, a piece. Would you like a piece of cake or um, a slice of pizza? a dog, a cat. Can you hear that schwa coming up all the time? So get familiar with that schwa because you need it, need to use it all the time. And there you go. Those are the most common mistakes I hear when people are trying to do an RP accent. If you are trying to develop a RP accent, a standard English accent, keep going with it. It's so tricky, it's hard to, you know, completely change the way you say words. That's really, really tricky. But my best advice to you is listen to it as much as possible. Find one celebrity who has the voice that you want and listen, copy, do an impression of them. Try to be an impressionist. Go, can I do an impression of this person? Let's do it and see if you can unlock some sounds that way. Um, if you can talk to a native speaker with something like italki or Cambly, that's really useful as well. But don't expect it to just happen overnight. It takes time and it takes practice. I hope this video was useful. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. And if you would like to follow our Instagram, you can find it there. And if you would like an online one-to-one -one English lesson with me or my partner, the link for that is down below. And if you want to support the channel, the link for that is also down below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ta-da!